Let it change the world. Wait, you know. Wait. He did what? That changed the world. That changed the world. That's right. That changed the world. Wait, you know. Welcome to daytime tea time. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candace. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will always know when I upload. All right, y'all. So first things first, man, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers that's been checking on me, seeing how I'm doing. As you guys have noticed for like the past two and a half, almost three months, I have not been posting on YouTube, barely. I think I've done maybe four videos in the last two months. So I'm sure you guys know I'm going through a lot right now, like all of us are. And I just thank y'all for checking on me, seeing how I'm doing. Now, on the other hand, there have been a lot of judgmental people saying, well, Candace, why aren't you talking about George Floyd? And to those people who are saying things like that and thinking things like that, I'ma just pray for you. Cause you know, in my flesh, I want to clap back at you and say, you know, blah, 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 blah. But I'm not going to do that. I think what I want to say is just, be careful on telling people how and when they should respond to something on their social media accounts. I'm human, I have a life, things I'm going through separately way before George Floyd was murdered. So I was still dealing with that stuff. So for people to expect for me to just jump online and talk and cry, that's not fair. We all heal the way we heal. And I'm not a person that just jumps on social media to say how I feel. I take time to think and pray through my thoughts so that whatever I put out, I'll be proud of. If I would have got online and talked to last week, I wouldn't have been proud of my words. I would have been saying a whole lot of angry things because that's how I felt. I still feel angry but I'm not as angry as I was last week, right after watching George Floyd be murdered for nine minutes. The energy I had after watching that, I didn't wanna put that out on the internet. I didn't wanna put out more anger and frustration. Just please y'all respect the fact that I like to gather my thoughts before I speak. And that's all, just pray for me as I pray for you as we all get through this. Now, with that said, we have some breaking news. According to George Floyd's family attorney, Benjamin Crump, he has announced that all four officers involved in the murder of George Floyd have been arrested and charged. He took to his Twitter saying, family's reaction, this is a bittersweet moment. We are deeply gratified that Attorney General Keith Ellison took decisive action arresting and charging all the officers involved in George Floyd's death and upgrading the charge against Derek Chauvin to felony second degree murder. Hashtag justice for George. I can now tell you that based on our review of court records that have just posted, all three officers uh, that were seen on that video have now been charged. We're talking about uh, J. Alexander Kuhn, Thomas Lane, and Tu Tao, court records indicate, have been charged with aiding and abetting second degree murder. Now, based also on those court documents, we see that the fourth officer who had previously been charged with third degree murder, we're talking about Derek Chauvin, court records indicate that his charge has now been elevated to second degree murder. So we can confirm that according to court records here from the state of Minnesota, all four officers, Brooke, that were involved in this incident involving the death of George Floyd have been charged by authorities. Activist Tamika Mallory also took to her Instagram to share the news as well. Now in her caption, this is what she had to say. The Minneapolis Attorney General has increased charges against Derek Chauvin to second degree murder. And now all the officers have been charged and arrested in the murder of hashtag George Floyd. We do not know yet what the other three have been charged with. This is not enough. We need convictions. Do not let anyone tell you that protest and organizing does not work. It works. Stay loud. This is a marathon, folks. Stay focused. We are winning together. We are feeling grateful for all the organizers, protesters, organizations, and supporters in every corner of this country, especially our Minneapolis family. George Floyd's murder will not be in vain. 
back to work, the officers who murdered Breonna Taylor still have not been arrested or charged. Okay, so you guys saw that. Now, I wholeheartedly agree with Tamika Mallory. It's not enough. We're happy about it now. We're happy they got arrested and charged, but it's not enough. It's annoying that it even took that long for them to be arrested. But now that they are, we are ready for more change, okay? I think that a lot of times they try to do a little something to satisfy us, but no, we will be satisfied when all of those cops are prosecuted in prison, underneath the prison if you ask me, but listen, I'm, yeah. Like Tamika Mallory said, please don't let anybody tell you that protests are pointless and you know, it, there's no point in voting, there's no point in doing protests. Yes, there is. We have to use our voices and we have to be loud with our voices. All of this protesting that everybody has been doing all over the world, protest in all 50 states and in other countries. That loud noise is how we get things done. It shouldn't have to take us to do that, but when we do, things get done and we're just ready for more things to get done. Like they said, Breonna Taylor, we need those officers to be arrested. Like I can't even believe they haven't been arrested yet. more on my mind that I want to say but I'm gonna save it for another video that I'm planning so just please look out for that make sure y'all press the notification bell I have a lot more to say a lot of things I've been gathering for a separate video but this was really just an update to let some of you know what's going on if you missed it a lot of you guys requested for me to talk about Amanda Seals quitting the real daytime. I'm going to talk about that in another video as well. Just give me some time, you guys. I'm just now getting back into the swing of YouTube after dealing with my own personal issues. So just look out for more videos, press the notification bell, and I'll catch you the next one, all right? Bye. So I'm duty bound to be here to simply say that it is your duty not to burn your own house down for anger with an enemy. It is your duty to fortify your own house so that you may be a house of refuge in times of organization. And now is the time to plot, plan, strategize, organize, and mobilize. It is time to beat up prosecutors you don't like at the voting booth. It is time to hold mayoral offices accountable chiefs and deputy chiefs. Atlanta is not perfect, but we're a lot better than we ever were, and we're a lot better than cities are. I love CNN, I love Cartoon Network, but I'd like to say to CNN right now, karma's a mother. Stop feeding fear and anger every day. Stop making people feel so fearful, give them hope. I'm glad they only took down a sign and defaced a building and they're not killing human beings like that policeman did. I'm glad that they only destroyed some brick and mortar and they didn't rip a father from a son. They didn't rip a, fa a son from a mother like the policeman did. When a man yells for his mother in duress and pain and she's dead, he is essentially yelling, please God, don't let it happen to me. And we watch that. So my question for us on the other side of this camera is after it burns, Will we be left with charred or will we rise like a phoenix out of the ashes that Atlanta has always done? So we have an opportunity now because I'm mad. I don't have any good advice. But what I can tell you is that if you sit in your homes tonight, instead of burning your home to the ground, you will have time to properly plot, plan, strategize and organize and mobilize in an effective way. And two of the most effective ways is first taking your butt to the computer and making sure you fill out your census so that people know who you are and where you are. The next thing is making sure you exercise your political bully power and going to local elections and beating up the politicians that you don't like. You got a prosecutor sent your partner to jail and you know it was bullshit, put a new prosecutor in there. Now's your election to do it. You want a different senator that's more progressive that promotes marijuana through, now is the time to do that. But it is not time to burn down your own home. 
I love and I respect you. I hate I don't have more to say. I hate I can't fix it in a snap. I hate Atlanta's not perfect for as good as we are. But we have to be better than this moment. We have to be better than burning down our own homes. Because Daddy changed the world. Daddy changed the world. That's right. Daddy changed the world. Wait, you know.